This is an egg. This is a rat pinky. This is Alana. That's Brian. Today, we are gonna force feed the baby anacondas. Fun stuff. No, not at all. For those of you guys that don't know, um, I did take on a new apprentice. This is his lovely girlfriend, our new assistant. Um, I also picked up two green baby anacondas, a pair. Uh, they were given to me for my birthday last year or this last couple months, um, and they're still not eating for me. So we do have to force feed them. That's where an egg comes into play, which is probably really, really weird that you're thinking that, but we're gonna crack this open and just get the egg whites out. Now, feeding baby green anacondas is not easy, um, or force feeding, I should say. That is why there's three of us. This guy's here to get covered in poop. She's here to pry its mouth open using a snake hook. I know that sounds horrible. It's not really as bad as it sounds. Um, and I'm gonna be doing the actual force feeding. So the reason why you have egg yolks, or um, excuse me, egg whites, um, is to dip the pinky in it, because it makes it go down a lot easier. So, you wanna go ahead and grab that one out for me? Yep. That, that's the bitey one, right? I can't remember if this is the bitey one or the other one's the bitey yeah. one. That Let's one's see. the bitey one? Yes. Okay, you hang on to the snake hook, let me get it. <laughs> Let me get it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, so he's going for you now. No, you gotta grab him behind the head. Oh, okay. There you go. So, there you go. anacondas do love, no, you're gonna wanna straighten them out. So this is a, also a teaching thing for him as well. Come on, Come on No. No, yeah, see, it ain't easy, is it? Do you want, you want me to just do the head? If you want, yeah. Okay, so you hold the tail. Okay. All right, well you hold the tail and up here, so you keep them straight as possible, all right? Okay, yep. All right, so, now, what she's gonna be doing is taking the snake hook, it's probably gonna be easier that way. Let me move this. Hold this, you got him, all right. <laughs> We're not prepared for this, if you guys haven't realized. This is kind of a spur of the moment thing. All right, bring him back. Oh, thanks. He can bite you, not me. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh he's going to go right for my finger. Thank you. Don't bite the finger, bite the finger. Don't bite All the right. finger. Anaconda's musk is pungent. Hey, oh, your wait. leg's right there. Remember that. Yeah, I know. It's not this poop I'm worried about. It's the musk. All right, so but what she's basically going to be doing is taking that snake hook, getting it started in the front of the snake's mouth, and then rotating it to the side, carefully. All right, so now that gives me time to flip the pinky around, hopefully maybe something like that. All right, keep it in there. Oh, oh, go ahead and get it back in. Just turn it to the side, either side. Perfect, pull down a little bit. Try and slide it to the back of the mouth. Not when you go to the side, excuse me. There you go. Sorry for getting, all right, pull it out. So the egg white is gonna make it slide down the snake's throat a lot easier. Now this is the second time we've had to do this for whatever reason, which green anacondas are usually pigs, um, and they eat pigs, but uh, <laughs> they have not wanted to eat for me, which is really, really weird. So you see I'm slowly just trying to, no, no, I jinxed it. Alright, take number two. Hold them straight. I'm gonna blame you for that. Oh yeah, that was me. <laughs> That's my bad. Let me get the head a little better here. Come on, dude. Yeah, they don't, just don't yank them. Alright, go ahead, hook. Brian. Hey, what? I'm dripping egg whites all over your clean floor. Oh, well, that's okay. Come on, buddy. Cora will help me clean it up. Yeah, all no, right. My apprentice has an apprentice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. 
So doing the egg white also makes it a little difficult to grab with the tongs, but that's okay. As long as he eats it. For those of you guys that don't know, during this very boring process for you. Oh yeah, there we go, straighten out. Oh, no, 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 no. Brian, I need you to hold it up a little bit closer to the, no, 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 not up like that. Just keep his neck straight for me. Come on, buddy. Don't squeeze. No, not squeeze, I'm just holding him. All right. Anacondas are the heaviest snake in the world, for those of you guys that don't know. So these guys will hopefully get huge. Now very gently place them back in. Go ahead, drop, let go, pull your hands out. Now nobody move. Hopefully she will start just kind of working it down. All right, number two. So I do want to stress, or I can't stress this enough, guys. We're not hurting the snakes by doing this. Um, I'm simply just kind of holding behind its skull in this process. You're going to want to scoot this way a little bit to make it easier for her. It's okay, I don't have cooties. Um, when she is going at, go ahead and you can start this. When she's putting the snake hook in the mouth, she's not hurting it either. Um, she's just very simply, very simply starting to open the mouth for me to make this easier because, again, it is not easy to open their mouths with a slippery rat pinky. Come on, bud. He's like, no. He's like, I don't want to open my mouth. You know, turn it a little bit, yeah. Started. Come, come, come. Are you out? Yes. Okay. So also the way I do it, I know other people do it differently, but I just try and get the head down the throat um, enough to where I can actually kind of grab it or feel it with my fingers and hold it in place, and then which is about right there. And then I try to readjust to grab it back to push it down further. Now, I know there's the difference between force feeding and assist feeding. It's relatively the same thing. Assist feeding, you kind of just stick the head in the snake's mouth um, and see if they take it down themselves. Force feeding is just getting it all the way down there. Um, it only yeah. usually takes a couple force feeds to get a snake used to the meal item. Um, I like to get the rat all the way down the throat before finishing like that. So now I'm going to take this one, very carefully set it down, put the lid on it, and we'll go ahead and check the other one. Alright, so this is the first one, and as you can see, there's no rat pinky in the cage. Rat pinky looks like it's about right here right now. This is a very, very good sign. So hopefully, you know, I'm only gonna maybe do this one more time and these snakes will take it by themselves. I do offer them food first before going ahead to do this. I usually try and do it twice before. Um, if the snake doesn't take it twice, it needs to eat. So we go ahead and force feed it. So this one's done. Other one's trying. Is it still? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Thank you. Oh yeah, this one's actually pushing it down. Okay. So let's see if I can move this. Yeah, this one's so you guys can see it a little bit. So you see right there, he's right behind his head. He's kind of got that sharp S in his neck. So he's just slowly working that rat down right now. You can see a foot kind of sticking out of his mouth a little bit there. Fixing his jaw, up. Oh, foot's gone. Yeah, he's got that down now. All right guys, so hopefully you learned something new on this one. Um, I'm excited to have these. It's kind of like a dream species of mine. I don't know if I've actually shown them on the channel or not, to be honest with you. I think this yeah. is the first. 
slash unboxing for my baby green anacondas. But yeah, these have been probably one of the snake species that I've wanted to own since I was a little kid. So I'm really excited to finally have these guys. I've had them for, I wanna say about three months now, close to three months. They're awesome. These five. two, five months? Five months. Five months? Five, wow. five, five months, see, I don't even know. Things have been going by so fast. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy these two are helping out a lot lately. Um, thank you guys, you guys are truly awesome. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, subscribe if you are not already. Smash a like button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Big thank you and big shout out to my amazing Patreons. If you guys would like to become a Patreon and see behind the scenes videos like from this one today, make sure you guys go check out Patreon. Again, the link is in the description. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.